A box is a simple object. Often they are made of cardboard, they come in a variety of sizes, they are often brown. They're a simple object. And yet, a box to a child can be an item of endless possibilities. To a child, this could be a race car. All drivers of your cars. It could be a boat, your only vessel of choice to cross a treacherous and unpredictable ocean. To another child, it could be a spaceship, set to take them to unknown and unexplored places. Or, it could be your only safe refuge from a planet covered in lava. The possibilities are endless for what a box could be with a child's imagination. As adults, we lose this at some point. At some point, a box just becomes a box. An item that we use to ship our parcels. Something that we use to store our stuff in some dark, dingy corner of our house. Whether it's life getting busy, too much responsibility, or eventually you grow up and you start looking down on those childish things. We leave those moments of pure imagination behind. A box just becomes a box, and it is just that. This isn't too far removed for how we often treat God. To a child, God is capable of anything. He spread the sea, he brought a flood, he heals the sick, he brings people back from the dead. God is amazing, and he inspires pure wonder. Sometimes for us adults, God is only capable of this or that. God can't love that person. God can't forgive that person. God loves people like me, not like you. We put God in a box. We tell him, here are your limits, and you may go no further. But to a child, to a person with childlike wonder, God is the box. He sets up the boundaries, and they are endless. For it says in Colossians, all things will be reconciled to Christ, who shed his blood on the cross.